Hey guys, I'm Linda Mendoza and I'm gonna be your personal hairstylist. So I've honestly been doing hair since I was about 12 years old when I used to work for my mother's friend's hair salon sweeping up the hair for tips. It was a great experience, but professionally, I've been doing hair since I was about 17 years old when I had already graduated high school, went to beauty school, and had just opened up my first beauty salon. I had a handful of things to do, everywhere from helping my employees, to styling my clients' hair, to sweeping up the hair at nighttime. Um, but we did amazing, and we built tons of clientele. But when my contract was over, I decided to sell my salon and continue my career, and took the big move out to LA. It was extremely hard for me because I had to leave my family back home and live out of my van but I kept on trying and trying and I and, and I had an opportunity to work on production a couple movies a couple magazines and commercials and then I found Marley Drive Marley Drive has given me the amazing opportunity to have a live and workplace to give you guys weekly tutorial tips techniques and styles all about hair so why don't you guys follow me inside we're gonna set up my studio and we'll have our first lesson Yay! I'm so excited guys come on check it out Hey guys, what do you guys think about my cool new place? Ah, I'm so excited. This is gonna be my live and work place for the next, woo, who knows what? Every week I'm gonna be here guiding you guys through great tips and tutorials for your hair and for mine too. So the first thing ladies is getting to know your hair. It's so important to have a consultation because your stylist is able to understand the texture of your hair. She's able to understand if you have thick or thin hair. And she's also able to understand what you want to do with your hair. So I would probably play with your hair a little bit, run my fingers through your hair, but then I would comb through your hair. So today I'm just using a regular comb, but I have tons of different combs and brushes. Plus I have tons of different techniques to comb my hair and brush my hair, um, but I'll get all into that much later on in my other episodes. So I'm just gonna do a very basic comb through my hair just to get all the tangles out. And it's so important for us to brush our hair at least twice a day because it stimulates our blood flow, which helps our hair to grow. So after doing some basic brushing, I'm gonna part my hair down the middle and I'm gonna do my four divisions. I'm gonna divide from the top of my head to the back of my ear. This is the four sectioning that most stylists do. And uh, us stylists love it because we're able to feel our client's hair texture. Uh, we're able to understand how much hair our client has. And we're also looking for any type of discoloration in the scalp or bald spots. And last but not least, I know it sounds a little bit gross, but we're also looking for any type of uh, ringworm, um, head lines. I know it sounds a little bit gross, ladies, but you never know, and sometimes our clients don't know. So how better than your stylist finding out? Oh guys, so you know I look horrible right now, but these are the basic four sections. And I'm gonna take my first section down because I would proceed with my client, which is myself today. Um, I would grab probably about half an inch from the top of my hair uh, and I would pull it to an angle where I can see it, the natural light go through my hair. Now it's very important that we come in our consultation with clean hair so your stylist is able to see through your hair more clearly. So I'm going to lift it into an angle like I said so I can see it's natural light. And as you guys can see with my hair, um, I have three colors, one, two, and three. So color one is my natural color, and that is at a level three. My natural color is a level three, and it's probably about half an inch outgrown. The next section is color two. Color two is a little bit lighter than my natural tone. It's a level five, and I've been coloring this, uh, and I've been coloring my hair this color for about eight months. And the third color here, as you guys see, it's a little bit lighter. That's still a level five that I've been applying for the last eight months. The only difference is that I had my hair blonde probably about a year ago and it just totally damaged my hair, which is probably the reason why I have an inch and a half of very split ends. So for my hair, I have a medium length haircut. Um, I don't have too many layers or too little layers. My first layer is right after my chin and I have long bangs. 
and like I said I don't have curly or straight hair but I still have to style my hair every day because I have really really frizzy hair so now that you know what kind of color I have in my hair how my haircut is and how much damage I have in my hair let me share with you guys my three T's my three T's consist of treatment touch up and trim now Treatments are so important, guys, because they bring in tons of nutrients into our hair with great ingredients, plus you honestly can find them at any beauty supply store for real cheap. They come in great sizes, big, small bottles, so we'll have a full episode just on treatments. Trim. Trimming our hair is very important because it eliminates all those nasty split ends that we have in our hair and we prevent them from letting them grow. Um, I like to trim my hair once every three months. Um, even though, ladies, I know sometimes you want to let your hair grow, it's so important to just trim half an inch of your hair. It will make such a big difference, honestly. Touch up. I touch up my hair probably once every two months. Um, I like to keep my hair looking very even. And once we pass our two months, then our hot zone starts getting longer and we start getting little patches in our hair. If you guys have any questions, you guys can always comment me. Let me know what you guys think and I can answer some of those questions for you as well. Um, I use Color Brilliance because it adds tons of shine into my hair. And when I walk down the street, sometimes people ask me if it's my natural color and I tell them, yeah, <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> Great guys, so now you guys know what my three T's consist of and I'm so happy that I'm able to tell you guys because now we can do it together. Yay! You guys are gonna be able to follow me through my episodes of maintaining my hair. So we're gonna come up with a maintenance plan for our hair. So now that you guys know about my three T's and I told you all about my hair, let me know what you guys think about a brushing marathon. Yes, a brushing marathon. Let's brush our hair constantly throughout the day and see what the results are. Because honestly, I've been brushing my hair constantly. I've been getting great, shinier, more easy to work with hair. Try it at home, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Hey, guys. Now that we went over what a great consultation should feel like, talked about the three T's, and experimented a little bit in my hair, Make sure you guys let me know all about your hair. I want you guys to send me pictures, messages. I wanna know everything. What works good for you? What doesn't work good for you? I wanna hear it all. Together, we're gonna to grow a healthier, shinier, easier to work with hair. Stick around, guys. See you soon. Bye.